I am just introducing the airway pressure release ventilation simulator. And what we have there here, this is for the study for evaluating three methods to set T low. And if you follow my cursor, you can see on the left hand portion of the screen is my ventilator settings. And here are some settings that are going to stay constant with all three uh, tests of the TLO. So one is my P high is going to remain constant at 25. My P low will vary for the first two. I'm going to use a P low of zero. My T high is going to stay constant at four seconds. This is a common setting for setting APRV. And then my T low is going to vary also. My FI2 will remain constant. And then if we go to the right hand portion of the screen, we look at patient parameters. For my mechanics, my resistance is going to remain the same, my inspiratory and expiratory, and this is a common resistance in ARDS patients, pretty standard. Next is compliance, and the compliance we're going to be changing, we're going to be testing three different sets of compliance. We're going to look at a compliance value of 15, 30, and 60. These kind time constants will change based on these measurements here or these inputs. Under physiology, I'll put in my ideal body weight, which is 72 kilograms. We're going to keep this. And these are going to remain constant. And we'll look at the outcome variable, specifically what kind of tidal volume it generates, if it's lung protective, and auto peep. So this is a little introduction to the APRV simulator. First, I'm going to target my T low setting or set my T low setting by targeting a peak expiratory flow rate of 50 to 75 percent. Now, like I said, my P high is going to be constant. I'm going to have my P low set at zero. As I said before, T um, high of four seconds is a common setting in APRV and a T low we're going to titrate to get that 50 to 75 percent. And I do not have an expiratory flow waveform to evaluate now, but I know based on my time constant, based on my compliance, I'm going to start out my compliance as a typical ARDS patient with um, 15. And it, as you can see, this creates a expiratory time constant, a 0 0.225 expiratory time constant. So if I set my T low exactly at this, this would approximately get me in that 50 to 75% range. So let's go ahead and do that. A common T low setting when we first started is anywhere from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 seconds in adult. And I am using an adult patient representing myself. So let's go ahead and start at 0 0.2. What I'm going to do now is just decrease that to 0 0.2 seconds. And this is pretty much under one expiratory time constant, so I should be pretty much around that 50 to 75% range. As you notice, we look at our measured values and our tidal volumes in the safe range. It is it's smaller than the 4 to 6 cc range for lung protective strategies. However, it's creating um, quite a bit of auto peep as you can see about 10 centimeters water auto peep. I'm going to increase this to let's say 0 0.3 as you notice my tidal volume is a little higher and 4 cc's per kilogram still my safe range my auto peep is less. Let's go to the 0 0.4 tidal volume is still safe auto peep is less 0 0.5, my tidal volume is still in the safe range at 5 millimeters, auto peeps at 3, a T low at 0 0.6, tidal volume remains constant, auto peeps down, and one more at 7, and lastly a T low of 0 0.8. So 
based on these T low settings, these common basic settings that you use, the 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 range, when the patient's compliance remains 15, we are ventilating at a safe range. However, we notice we created some auto peep at the lower T low settings. So now let's go back to, I'm just going to go all the way back down to the 0 0.2 and say the patient's starting to get better and their compliance changes. So I'm going to change the compliance to now 30. And we look at the tidal volume safe, but quite a bit of auto peep. So I'll change it to 0 0.4. A tidal volume is a little higher. We're still in safe range, 6 cc's. Auto peeps less. A 0 0.6 range. And now our tidal volume's not as safe. And our auto peeps less. And go to 0 0.8. Same thing, tidal volume's now not at a safe range. Now let's change your compliance. We'll go back down to 0 0.2 again and change your compliance to 60. The patient has pretty much normal lungs. They're still on APRV. However, we should be taking them off APRV. And as you can see, our tidal volumes in the safe range, we've got a, quite a bit of auto peep. And I'm just gonna go this at the ex other extreme at 0 0.8. Tidal volumes unsafe, auto, auto peeps unsafe. So that's the first values. The second technique I'm going to go over to set T-low is titrating my T-low to target a tidal volume of 4 to 6 cc's per kilogram of ideal body weight. Now I have my same settings for my P-high and P-low. Those are constant and my T-high. Now I'm going to titrate my T-low over here to get my tidal volume from anywhere from 4 to 6 cc's. So now we're currently at 3 cc's on a compliance of 15, and I'll just increase that a little. And as you can see, we're still creating a little auto peep of 7 right down here. So we'll look at the auto peep and the ranges to keep these ranges of my tidal volume. And as you can see, I keep on increasing my T low here, anywhere from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8, the common settings used for a T low. And as you notice, this is kind of more precise. I can target my tidal volume and still look at my auto peep. I'm still in a safe range here. And I really haven't affected my tidal volume very much, but it gives me a wider range, a more precise way, kind of easier way to set T-low. Now I'm just going to go down at the 0 0.2 again and change my compliance. So if my compliance changes, well, I'll get back in the range. So I was targeting 4 to 6 cc's, and now my compliance changes. Here's my next compliance value. I'm going to change at 30. I'm still in the safe range. Quite a bit of auto peep here. So I can still titrate my T low to decrease that auto peep. And that tightens up my range of my tidal volume for safety. So I still have a couple increments I can use to. kind of decrease that auto peep. My auto peep's around 10 still. Now I'm going to increase the compliance again to, let's see, I'm trying to maximize my ton of volume and minimize my auto peep where it's both lung protective. And now I'm going to go up to 60. So the patient gets much better. 
And as you notice, I'm going to have to, I have quite a bit of auto P for 16 and a title volume 7. So both of these are kind of dangerous. I have this title volume here. I'm going to decrease, um, I'm going to increase my T low actually. And as you notice, it increased my title volume. So I'm going to decrease that to target a 6 milliliters per kilogram range. Have you noticed I have a lot of auto peeps still? So 18. And if I decrease it anymore, I'm just going to create more auto peep. So there it's maximized. I have my title volume in the 4 to 6 cc's range. And that's as low as I can get on the auto peep. If I go up, I start sacrificing my title volume. This last method of setting T low is what we're going to do is we're going to set T low based on, we're going to set it based on four expiratory time constants. So we're going to look at our expiratory time constant, multiply that by four, and that would be complete emptying of the lung. And then what we want to do is we want to titrate our P low actually to target that four to six cc's tidal volume range, that lung protective range. So what I have now with this compliance of 15, I have the expiratory time constant of this. So we just multiply it by four, and that is going to be a T low of 0 0.9 seconds. So I'm gonna go all the way up to 0 0.9 seconds. And I don't even have to turn my P low up at all or titrate it. I'm already at the tidal volume I want anywhere between the four to six milliliters per kilogram range. Now let's go ahead and change my compliance to 30. Patient gets better. Now I have an expiratory time constant of 0 0.45. Now if I multiply that at four or four time constants, that's going to actually be 1.8 seconds. So I'm changing my T low to 1.8 seconds. As you notice, my tidal volume is 10 cc's now. I do have no auto P, but this is not lung protective. So what I need to do is I just want to increase the P low a little to decrease that tidal volume. And you should notice I keep on increasing my P low, evaluating my tidal volume. And now it's in the safe range. It's in the 6 C, C so the 4 to 6. Now lastly, let's go ahead and increase the compliance to Ken. To 60, and that gives us me an expiratory time constant of 0 0.9. If I multiply that by 4, it's 3.6 seconds. And that will generate no auto peep at all, but quite a bit of tidal volume. And so what I would need to do is I would need to increase my P low again to keep it at that 4 to 6 cc or milliliter range. And there we go, we have a tidal volume. So as you can see, this method is, when we're evaluating my tidal volume, we're generating no auto peep at all by basing my T low based on my expiratory time constant. And then we can easily titrate my P low setting. So I have lung protective ventilation both with my tidal volume delivered and generating no auto peep also. One thing that's kind of difficult with this procedure is calculating this time constant. During APRV, some ventilators do this for you, which is nice that it'll figure your expiratory time constant. However, others you're going to have to mathematically calculate on your own. But as you notice with this method, it's pretty easy to do and I can be lung protective on both sides. In regards to tidal volume delivery, and the generation of very little or zero auto peep.